Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about what ticket price maximizes revenue, and this is a quadratic word problem. So when I first learned about these problems, um, they were pretty challenging, but once you see how it works, I think it's gonna be a lot easier for you. So it says a stadium has a seating capacity of 1,000, but when the ticket price is $30, the attendance is 400 people. For each $1 decrease in price, the attendance increases by 50. So it kind of makes sense, like if you lower the price, then people say, oh, that's a good price, maybe I'm gonna go, and so the attendance goes up, right? But what we're trying to figure out is, you know, how many of these price decreases do you have to do to maximize the overall revenue? So let's start off by writing the revenue equation as a function of the ticket price. Now remember, revenue is what? It's the number of tickets, right? Number of tickets times how much each ticket is. So let's see, so in this case, how much is a ticket? Right now a ticket is $30, okay? And how many uh, people are attending? 400 people, right? But if you decrease the price by a dollar, and I'm gonna write minus one X, where X is the number of $1 price decreases, the attendance is gonna go up by 50 times X. See, if you decrease $2, then two times 50 is 100, it goes up by 100 people, now there's 500 people attending. Okay, so now we have our revenue equation as a function of X, the number of decreases in the price by $1. But let's go ahead and foil this out. So we have 30 times 400, which is gonna be 12,000. We have 30 times 50, which is 1,500X. We have negative 400X and we have negative 50x squared. Let's put this in descending order. So we have negative 50x squared. Uh, this comes out to 1100x and plus 12,000. Okay, so that's our revenue equation right there. That's part A. Now part B, what price maximizes the revenue? Well, one thing I wanna point out, this is a quadratic, see x squared, but notice the a value is negative. So what does that tell us? the parabola's opening down, right? So here's the number of price decreases, here's your revenue, and we're trying to figure out, you know, this point right here where it's a maximum uh, point. And because that A value is negative, it opens down, right? So that maximum is gonna be at that vertex, and you know the formula for finding the vertex, x equals negative b over 2a, that'll give us our x coordinate, and that would represent the number of $1 price decreases. If we solve for the y coordinate, that's gonna give us our revenue. So here we've got, let's see, A, B, and C, so the opposite of B over 2A, let's put that over here, so negative B would be negative 1100 over two times A, which is negative 50. So that comes out to uh, 1100 over 100, which is equal to 11. So what the 11 represents is 11 $1 price decreases, that's what the X is here, but, Originally it was $30, so if we decrease it 11 times, now the price of a ticket is gonna be $19. And that's what it was asking for. It says, uh, for each $1 decrease, what price maximizes the revenue? A $19 ticket price would maximize the revenue. Some people might mistakenly put 11, but that's the number of price decreases. So if you wanna see other word problems involving quadratic uh, equations like this, Follow me over to that video right there where we do another typical one that's just like this. It involves uh, a region that you're trying to maximize the area of.